solid work sheet metal predefined cuts sometime we need to use same kind of shape for many times so there is one option in predefined cut options in solid work sheet metal how to activate and how to use this let's see this is a simple design you will see this is 200 by 50 and 160 is the width 4 millimeter is the thickness if you see this flange 50 millimeter the width okay let's add just go to task pen this is your task pen if you don't find this task pen go to view user interface and click and activate task pen go to task pen de design library if you don't find design library you have to bring here so simply here one option see add file location click if you don't you have to find out here if you don't find then there is one more option go to option system options file location drop down show folder and here you will find design library now select and click add say ok but we already have here now go to design library features and sheet metal here now see there are many kind of shapes you will find this is predefined shape so let's bring one shape i'm going to bring this t slot just press hold and drag just press somewhere here and is going to be cut now if you first is placement plane clear and any plane you can select and this will be on the plane but this is the suitable for us so i am going to keep this one as it is now next is configuration this is default configuration we don't have any other so let's keep this one as it is now the ne next option is link to library part select say ok go to library right click open and let's change any dimension 0 0.5 enter cancel save all see this is also modified here this one we will keep as it is so we will again open and this one let's say 1.25 enter close save now let me delete this again place now you can add location here there is one option location sketch smart dimension now let's define One sixty-eight divided by two. This is going to be hundred actually. Okay. Now the center from here. Let's say fifty. Back. And this is place. Now if you select override dimension, you can simply click this and you can modify this. Let's say this one if you want to make 35, enter. Now these height, let's say 120, enter. See this is change. Now width, let's say 25, enter. It's going to change. So this is how you can change the things now let's add one design cross it takes time because of my system is slow now override dimension first width let's say 20 enter this is the thickness inside let's say 5 radius 5 even though you can edit a sketch location from here okay so similarly you can add many predefined cutouts from here directly just place 
edit the sketch and place the dimension okay before going to drag close the now let me select let's take this is the last example okay let's edit the sketch a smart dimension from this end 50 or let's say 35 from this end 35 back predefined now this is corner radius let's say 2 enter this is also a radius let's say 3 enter this is overall length uh, let's say 35 and this is angle 60 see here say ok so this is how you can use predefined cut in solid work sheet metal and you can make your drawing with easily i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching